laying the pelvis down, allowing the knees to fall into one another, putting the palms face up to the ceiling, and just pressing through the feet gently, lifting the buttocks and laying the pelvis down, lengthening the tailbone towards the front of the mat, and creating some length in the back of the neck. Pressing shoulder blades into the back of the body as the chest is open. And settling yourself down as we start to center, as we begin the practice, just to calm the body down, calm the breath down. Start to come into your yoga space. So shuffle around as you need to, to find that level of sukhasana, which means comfort. So looking for comfort and ease as you rest. Aware of the back of the body, particularly the pelvis, and the lower part of the spine, easing that out as much as you can. So steady, relaxed posture, steady being stira. And that's our intention today. So Kassan, which is comfortable, a sense of ease in the work, and stira, so there's some steadiness, and some grounding, and how we move through the postures, the asanas. Connecting to the breath, most important of all, so resting the hands on the low belly, just aware of rise and fall of the belly. So feeling your own breath moving through the body. And as always, the yoga practice very much about feeling and connecting. Just notice rise in breath and fall on the out breath in the belly. In breath and out breath. And aim for that steady in breath and out breath throughout the practice. Making it as comfortable and as even in length as you can. Gently draw the knees into the chest, rock side to side, just easing out the low back and the spine with a gentle massage. Cross one ankle loosely over the other, raise the arms up in the air, interlock just the thumbs, breathe in, reach the arms away, readjust the head so the chin is tucked in. You get a nice stretch through the ribs and the chest. Just be aware of where you're feeling that stretch and ensure the knees are moving in a little bit towards the belly or the chest so there's no compression in the low back. So passively opening out the chest and the ribs, stretching intercostal muscles, Keeping the head relaxed on the floor, soft elbows, thumbs interlinked. And then breathing in, bring the hands back down to the sides, undo the ankles and place the feet into a bridge position. Take a breath in, press down through the feet, ensuring the heels are underneath the backs of the knees, adjust them if you need to. Squeezing the glutes, not allowing the knees to come out to the sides. You can interlock fingers, breathing in, lifting the chest, breathing out, holding, pressing up onto the heels a little bit more if you wish. Breathing in and breathing out. So stira, the steadiness, sukum, for that comfort. Taking another round of breath, a round of breath being an inhalation, 
and an exhalation. And gently rolling down the spine. Once again, hug the knees into the chest. And just keep the right knee hugging in. Extend the left out, press through the heel. Keeping it a couple of inches off the floor, pick up the head and shoulders. Keeping the head and shoulders off floor. Interlock the fingers behind the back of the head to protect the neck. A little bit of core work, so breathe in. And breathe out as you twist. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in and out. And just keep that going, really extending the leg. There's some work happening in the abdominal area. In and out. In, twisting across and out. In and out. In. And out. Last time. Cross. And out. Keep the knees hugging in. Head back on the floor and just rock side to side. Steady breath, if possible. And place the hands underneath the backs of the knees. Draw the knees apart towards each shoulder or armpit to ease out the back. And if you can, pick up the head and shoulders. See if you could hold the sides of the feet. Not important. Head back down, draw each knee towards the armpit for a happy baby pose. Or just fold the forearms underneath the backs of the knees. It's another modification, an option, so that you draw each knee towards each armpit. To ease out the low back, create space in the vertebrae. So stay with your option. Relaxing the head on the floor. If the feet are up, just make sure the soles of the feet, if at all possible, can face towards the ceiling. Nice, even breathing in and out. And then releasing, hug the knees in, rock side to side. And gently roll yourself up to a seated position. Take the legs out nice and wide, a bit of an inner thigh stretch. So sitting up nice and tall with a straight spine. Press through the heels, draw the toes towards you. So we've got active legs and you can feel the quads engaged. And just hinging forward for inner thigh stretch from the top of the thigh. Breathing in, and breathe out as you release into it. So remembering that intention, you want the steady foundation, stira and sukha, that sense of comfort and space, good space, where we're working in the asana, the posture. So use the out breath to comfortably release into your stretch. Keep the shoulders relaxed and away from the ears. So try not to reach too much for the toes, not important. If the elbows are soft, you can let the chest move forward. Chin tucked in. So as long as you're feeling the inner thigh stretch and checking that the feet are still active with the toes pulling forward. Keep the low belly pulled in and then gently using those belly muscles, breathe in and come the whole way up. Bring your legs together and come forward into a tabletop, stacking the joints. So good alignment, one on top of the other, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees, looking up and then rounding the back and synchronizing the breath and movement. So breathe in, chest forward, tailbone up, breathing out, pull the belly in in the rib cage. And then again, breathing in, chest up, tailbone up, and breathing out, rounding. 
So continue with this or a little bit more core work. Breathing in, raise the knees an inch, breathing out lower. Tucking the tailbone under, using the lower abdominal area if you can. In and out, keeping the knees underneath the hips. In and out breath. And again, in and out. And if you wish, trying for three rounds of breath, remembering an inhalation and an exhalation is one round. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Lower the knees, tuck the toes under, reach forward. Keep the chin drawing in. Sit back with the tailbone. Relax the shoulders. And imagine the chest is moving towards the floor. And breathing in, come back up and extend that right leg back. Send the pelvis back so there's that stretch in the back of the leg, particularly the lower leg. Keep pressing the hands away from the floor, engaging the core. And then switch to the other side, tucking the toes under, keeping the chest lifted. And then coming into a plank by picking up the other legs. So a little bit of strength work. Heels back, chest forward, breathing. Lower the knees if you wish for three rounds of breath, keeping the shoulders forward, or if you're in your plank, chest forward, heels back. Try not to collapse through the low back. Better to lower the knees and keep the shoulders forward. You'll get just as much work in the core. So picking your option. One more round of breath. And then lower. Good. Sit back. Breathe. And then breathe in, come forward to tabletop, breathing out. Tuck the toes under, breathe in. Out breath to your dog, stretch back, keeping shoulders relaxed. And then the buttocks move back and down towards the heels. And bicycle the dog, one knee bending, then the other. A little bit of motion and swivel through the hips easing everything out, resting if you need to, coming back down onto the knees. And really stretching back as much as you can, keeping the heels moving towards the floor. They don't have to touch, just feeling some stretch. Breathing. And then looking between the hands, starting to walk the feet forward. So you're at the front of the mat, feet just hip distance apart, interlocking the thumbs behind you, breathing in and breathing out, folding into Uttanasana. Forward bend. Try and draw the shoulders away from the ears a bit, keeping the weight of the glutes moving up and forward. So work's happening in the toes, the weight. Breathing in and out. Putting the crown of the head face the floor. It's perfectly fine to have a bend in the knees, just coming to your comfortable stretch. Straightening the legs as much as you can, ensuring pelvis forward. Then releasing the hands, bringing them somewhere on the legs. Using the in-breath to draw the chest down and the out-breath for your fold. Where are the feet connecting to the mat? And steer her that steadiness in the posture and some comfort through that stretch through the back of the legs. 
and bend the knees, breathe in, press the feet down and come all the way up, breathing out, hands into the prayer position. So we're standing into the Asin Mountain Pose, releasing the hands, checking the feet are just hip distance apart. Really feeling them connected to the floor. Take a nice in-breath, tucking the tailbone under and breathing out, relax the shoulders. Release the arms. Breathe in to lengthen through the spine and breathe out and sit back. So Utkatasana, the chair. Hands resting some on the legs. Or you can hold each elbow for a bit more work. Or take full Utkatasana to the arms up. Your option. Or hands in prayer. We breathe in. Breathe out. Drop down. Breathe in, up a couple of inches, breathe out, lower. Breathe in, up and out. Working the thighs, up and down, up and down, up on an in-breath, down, up and down, up and down. Hopefully feeling that in the thighs a little bit, up and down. Up an inch and stay here, breathing in and out if you can. Down an inch and stay here. And then breathe in, come the whole way up, breathing out. In breath, arms up, out breath, arms down. And twice more, in, reaching, out, in, Reaching up, out, and down. Then take the arms forward on an in-breath, elbows back on an out-breath. Breathing in, elbows move back, out. One more, up and out. And then standing at the front of the mat, the Sri Namaskara, our sun salutation, the flow sequence, following the breath with some steadiness and comfort as much as you can. Hands in prayer position, finding the mountain pose, breathing in and out, and then an in-breath, reach up, out-breath, fold. In, left leg back, breathe out. In, looking up, out forward, into your plank, knees up or down, out the knees down, in, through to a cobra. Breathe out. In breath, tuck toes, out breath, hands back and into dog. Stretch back. Look between the hands, big breath in, bring that left foot back forward. Breathe out. In breath, looking up, out breath forward. In breath, take the leg alongside, breathe out. Press down through the feet, rise the whole way up. Breathing out, in breath and out. Side two, in, out to fold. In the right leg goes back into a low lunge, breathing out. In breath, looking up, opening the chest. Out breath forward. In breath to plank, knees up or down. Out breath, knees down. In breath, through into the low cobra, breathing out. In breath, tuck toes, out breath to dog, stretch back. In breath, look between the hands and bring that right foot back forward, help it if you need to, breathe out. In breath, looking up, out breath forward, in breath, leg alongside, and then breathe out, press the feet, squeeze the glutes, palms up and over, and breathing out. And take two rounds of breath in your Tadasana, in your mountain pose. Breathing in and out. As you breathe in, try and lengthen up through the spine as much as you can. And again, breathing in and breathing out. And then turning sideways on the mat. Taking the legs out nice and wide, 
wide as you can using the wrists as a guide so they line up with the ankles and turn one leg out so the heel lines up with the back arch of the other foot facing forward in breath out breath sink into Virabhadrasana 2 which is a warrior lots of strength work around the legs palms face up for external rotation relax the shoulders look out over the hand middle finger checking the back arms in line with the front drop into it and then breathe in reverse your warrior breathe out sink the front knee a little bit more breathe in side angle arm cross or here or here wherever it's comfortable as long as you're getting a stretch so we'll flow with this as a sequence too so breathe in breathe out breathe in reverse breathe out breathe in lean breathe out breathe in warrior breathe out to sit into it breathe in reverse breathe out breathe in lean side angle breathe out one more in out in reverse out inside angle and out a little bit of strength work you can pick the arm back up to 12 o'clock or keep the hand on the hip come up a couple of inches take the bottom arm out and then see if this arm comes forward and you can lean and twist so you're working the obliques and the core breathe it's optional so you can keep the hand down if you wish up to you arm up breathing two rounds of breath if you feel you want to one two and then breathe in and breathe out warrior breathe in to come up release turn that foot in other foot out working on the other side so looking for that steady base breathing out chest facing forward ensuring heel in line with back arch palms face up breathe in breathe out relax the shoulders and sit into it so drop down through the hips breathe look out over that middle finger in breath out breath breathe in reverse your warrior breathing out to bend the knee more breathe in lean sideways and breathe out in breath using the legs out breath in breath reverse breathe out in breath to lean and out in breath back to the warrior and out in breath reverse warrior and out in breath side angle and out turn the chest and take your option keep the hand on the hip if you wish keep the arm up come up a couple of inches other arm out so you're working the core take your options breathing in and out in and out in and out breathe in warrior breathe out breathe in come the whole way up hands on the hips turn the feet inwards nice breath in and a forward bend hinging from the top of the thigh fold with a flat back hands resting somewhere on the legs walk the feet a little bit wider if you need to just keep the toes turning in slightly breathe in breathe out as you fold forward walking the hands down the legs to where it's comfortable let the head hang breathing in drawing the chest down breathing out relaxing that comfort so casting in the posture remembering your intention some steadiness in the pose but some comfort still shifting the pelvis forward so some weights in the toes some more stretch and if you feel comfortable sweeping one hand across to the other leg 
and taking a twist with the other arm up in the air. Option, not essential. And then breathe in, sweep the other hand across to the outside of the leg and draw across into a twist. Turning the belly as much as you can and then breathing in back to centre. Breathing out. Walking the hands up the legs nice and slowly. Walking the feet in a little bit and turning the toes out. And making sure the knees line up with the second and the third toe. Just coming down into a wide squat. Sometimes known as a horse pose. So breathing in, breathe out, squat. Try and draw the knees back behind you, keeping the opening in the inner thighs, keep the chest lifted and stay with that. And from a side view, try not to lean forward here, try to tuck the tailbone under, sit up nice and tall, breathe in and squat into it. So a side angle position for you to see, using the out breath to squat into it, breathing in, and out. A couple more breaths if you can. Breathing in, breathing out as you sink. One more. Breathing in and out. Breathe in, come the whole way up. Walk the feet in, shake out the legs. And then place the hands on the hips and step forward with one leg. Turn onto the toes of the other leg and we're going to drop down into a low lunge. So dropping down into a low lunge, checking the heel is lined up with the knee. And you're keeping the chest lifted. Breathing in, breathing out. And again, breathe in, keep the chest lifted, breathing out. And then the arms come up for an in-breath and down, in and out. So stay with that option or breathe in and pick up the back leg and breathe out and lower. Keep the hands on the hips, breathe in and out, in and out. So some leg work in and out and the knee does not have to lower the whole way, in and out, one more in and out. Then we're going to lean forward, take both hands inside that foot, pick up the back leg and just walk it away, and then lower the knee down and the foot flat. Have a look at the foot's in front, make sure it is still lined up, heel, knee, and turn it out to the side a little bit. Hands are flat on the floor, breathing in, breathing out, bend the elbows. Do you feel a bit of inner thigh stretch? Breathing in and out. And relax through the hips, remembering Sukhasana, that comfort and stira, steadiness in your asana and in your breath. And you may wish come down further onto the forearms if you want more of a stretch relaxing the knee out a little bit and then breathing in hands come back up or if the hands are up just ensuring the wrists are lined up with the shoulders and then we're going to sit back and straighten the leg as much as we can. Hands on the fingertips, breathing in. Take the chest forward. The Ardha Hanumanasana, which is a half leg squat, monkey pose. So just check, you lift the chest, feel the stretch. Feeling out, feeling the fold. Draw the right hip back a little bit, if it's the right leg that's forward. If it's the left leg that's forward, draw the left hip back to keep the pelvis even. 
Keep a bend in the knee if necessary. As long as you're feeling the stretch, that's great. Breathing. And then re-bend the front knee. Keep the hands either side and then float the arm up for a twist towards the inner thigh. Breathing in and out. And then breathe in. Hands back down, tuck the toes under, lift up, stretch back into your dog. Bend in the knees if needed to lengthen the spine. And then pick up the other leg. Breathe in, bring the knee into the nose. A little bit of strength work, holding it here. Working on the core. And then take it forward in front. Drop the lower knee for now. So we're in the low lunge. Breathing in and breathing out, keeping the chest lifted. And then breathe in, arms up, and breathe out, arms down. And again, breathing in and out. Last time, up and down. And staying with that option, or picking up the back leg, hands on the hips, breathe in, breathe out to lower. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and one more, in, out. And then lay the belly forward, place the hands on the inside of this foot. You can walk that foot out to the side, walk the back leg away, place the foot flat, and a little bit of a stretch in that hip area and around the thigh on the leg that's bent. Breathing in, chest moving forward, try not to round the spine. Breathing out, dropping the hips down as much as you feel you can. So feeling the work, feeling the stretch. And come on to the forearms, if you wish, for more stretch. We'll stay with the hands. Up, stacking the wrists over the elbows and the shoulders. Feeling the stretch. And walk the foot back in, blowing. Take the hand to the other side. Up onto the fingertips. And straighten out the leg as much as you feel comfortable. It can be a bent knee. Breathe in, lengthen up through the chest, breathe out, fold. And again, drawing the hip back on the leg that's extended. Keeping the pelvis as even as you can. Relaxing into your stretch at the back of the leg. And very gently breathing in, rebend the knee. Line up the fingertips with the tops of the toes. Tuck the toes under, breathe in, and your out breath back to your dog. And just checking how the backs of the legs feel. Bending the knees. And then breathing in, coming forward, finding your plank with the knees up or the knees down. Draw the right knee into the chest if you can. Breathing out, taking it away. Left knee into chest, take it away. Or option B, keep the knees lowered. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower, breathe in, out, lower. In, out, lower, or in the plank. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. And the last one, in, out, lower, and sit back 
stretching the arms in front, collecting the breath together again. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep the toes tucked under if possible. And then breathe in. Come back up into your tabletop and come all the way forward. And bring the forearms in front, lining them up, elbows underneath the shoulders, so we're in Sphinx pose. Really walking the legs away, breathing in, lift the chest, keep the chin tucked in, breathing out, release the shoulders. So press the forearms into the mat, down and back. So you get some lift in the front of the chest and the shoulder blades move together. An upper back bend, creating space across the front of the collarbones. And then take the left forearm in front, lining it up parallel with the front of the mat and bend up the right knee. Take a twist so you can hold the foot and you can do a stretch through the quad. If you're not comfortable about taking the foot, you can always lie on the side, hold the foot and take it behind you. So you still get the same stretch, squeezing the glutes. When you're here, always an option. Breathing in, keeping the chest lifted and breathing out. And then gently, we'll switch to the other side. So still lining up the elbow and the shoulder. And down, look behind you, bend up the knee, hold the foot. And if it's comfortable, bring it back around keeping the chest lifted and press the foot into the hand as well and squeeze the glutes or roll onto your side, taking the leg behind you, still squeezing the glutes and still pressing the foot into the hand so you feel some stretch through that hip flexor and across the thigh. Bringing it back round, if you wish, and then gently Releasing, coming forward, just finding a low cobra. Hands at the side ribs, elbows back. And then pick up the legs so we work the back muscles. Shamadasana, locust, breathing in and out. In and out, remembering Sukhasan, the comfort in it, and Stira, the steadiness back to your intention and then gently release the hands down if you wish come up and lift a little bit higher lengthening through the front of the chest and then tucking the toes under once again sitting back evening out the breath Keeping the shoulders soft and coming forward onto the forearms. So some more strength work here, coming into the dolphin, walking the feet in, keep the shoulders away from the ears. So staying with this option, we're walking the feet back, pressing the heels away, chest forward. You can lower the knees if you wish. Pick them up. Breathing. Lower the knees. And sit back this time into a child's pose. So knees apart. Belly in the centre, forehead down, arms behind. If it's not a comfortable posture where you're not sitting back on the heels, come forward onto the forearms and on the knees and relax the head. Breathing evenly. Aware of your pranayama, which is the breath practice.
and gently sitting back and taking the hands behind you, breathing in, opening the shoulders and the front of the body, breathing out. And again, breathing in and out. Lifting up, fingertips can face in or out. Opening the body more in the shoulders. There is an option. Just come onto the knees, hold the lower back and lean. Squeeze the glutes. If you want a bit more work, you come into a Z and lean. So picking your options to open out the front of the body. And then gently releasing down. Just roll onto one side, taking the legs out in front. Lie down. And do a little bit of release for the pelvis. Keeping the head tucking in, feet out to the edges of the mat. And the legs, the knees wide. Palms face up. Chin tucked in, breathe in and breathe out and roll the knees to one side. Breathe in, knees up, breathe out, other side, in. So we're still sinking the movement with the actual breath. In as we roll across the feet, out to the other side, easing out the low back and the pelvis. In and out, in and out, in and out. Leave the legs resting on that left side when you find them there. And be aware of the left foot. And just place that left heel if it's comfortable on top of the outside of the other knee. You get some stretch to the inner part of the hip. It's not comfortable when the stretch is too strong. Just relax with the legs on the left side. Remembering your intention of sukhasana and steadiness. Stira. And gently undo if you did take that option. Roll the legs to the other side. They should be on the right side. And then aware of the right foot. So working from within. And then place that right heel on the outside of the other knee. So you receive that stretch to the other inside of the hip. Relaxing the legs as much as possible. If it's not comfortable, just keeping the legs uncrossed on the side. And then gently undoing. Legs back to center, draw the knees in, rocking side to side. And hug in to really ease out the low back. And just bring Knees and ankles together, palms face up, arms are in the T shape. We'll do a final spinal twist lying down, letting the legs move to one side, to the left. And the left hand can rest on top of the thigh to draw the leg across further if you wish. Cross that top leg over the other for more stretch, allowing the belly and the chest to stay upright as much as possible. So aware of stretch through the chest, now the hips and back. So aware of the correspondences in the body, depending on how it's moving and stretching and turning and relaxing as much as possible into the mat. Releasing any tension in these areas. And 
and very gently just undoing another hug of the knees into the chest knees together ankles together arms out and allowing the legs to move to the other side in a twist so on the right side and again if you feel it's more stretch required taking top knee over the other and even if the legs aren't together as long as you're feeling a stretch it's the most important thing use the hand if you want a little bit more movement through the hip to open along that area and relax into your lying down twist So calming the whole body down. Lots of doing in the undoing. Passively releasing the body. And then breathe in, the knees come back. And a final hug in, rocking side to side. And coming into your final resting posture, your Shavasana. So ensuring Legs are down and separated. You've relaxed the head. Arms by the sides with the palms face up. And you give yourself and the body permission to receive the benefits of the practice and enjoy for a few moments this quiet resting for the whole body. So aiming to comfortably let go. Through the feet and across the shins. And soften the thighs and ease out the low back. Rest through the chest and shoulders. Soften the throat. Relax that lower jaw away from the upper jaw. Keep the chin just gently nodding into the chest, back of the head, resting nice and heavy on the mat. Whole body released for the next few moments, enjoying the peace and quiet and calmness you've created in your practice. As the body's resting, connecting yourself gently to the breasts, placing one hand on the chest with the breath, and the other hand on the belly. So just tuning in to your own comfortable breathing. Steadiness in the breath and comfort in the breath. 
And gently breathing in, just reach the arms up overhead behind you. Stretching the whole body and breathing out, bringing the arms back down to the sides. Draw up the knees towards you. Gentle hug in. And then roll carefully with the eyes closed. Come to the right side of the body. Just resting for a moment. Absorbing the practice. And thanking yourself for taking part in the practice. Looking after your own well-being. Comfort and steadiness. And gently coming back up to a seated position. Crossing the legs if it's comfortable. Bringing the hands together, one palm on top of the other and the thumbs touching. Just leaving them resting. Bowing the chin slightly, keeping the eyes closed. Just a sign of respect and reverence for your practice. Just meditating quietly for a moment or two. So noticing your own breath. Aware of the movement of the chest. And taking a nice deep breath in through the nostrils, lengthening up through the spine, and breathing out through the mouth, release the shoulders. And again, breathing in and breathing out. And very gently and slowly opening the eyes. And thank you for taking part in this home yoga practice today. Namaste.